Assalamu alaikum everyone uh, welcome back to Hashmi life to its first ever informative video so after i posted uh, I, after i uploaded my previous videos i received a lot of questions in comment box uh, asking of about when i uh, when i started with ndt and how long it took uh, to me to start working in ndt and and what is the process i like also on my other social media handles like instagram and snapchat and there too i received questions about uh, the same process the questions were almost similar so here i am uh, with the entire homework done with all the questions what i have received i'll try to cover maximum questions but uh, uh, it's better not uh, it's better to go systematic way of what i went through in the journey of entity data onboarding so that way from my point of view i think i'll be able to explain more precisely and answer a lot of questions of yours and maybe many doubts will be cleared through my journey of experience okay without a further ado let's get started so i have completed my graduation in computers around 2021 and after that i was interning with the company but uh, in July, june 2022 uh, you you should know that i was uh, after my graduation was done i had applied uh, almost uh, everywhere through linkedin through monsters through nokri i was applying everywhere wherever i was as a fresher i was fitting in that category for n number of companies so around in june 2022 i received a call uh, from one of the institution uh, saying that uh, i was shortlisted for uh, entity data's uh, interview uh, interview segment before that you should also know that i had already already cleared mcat exam and uh, i had uh, updated my cv uh, my mcat marks also like in my cv wherever i was applying for jobs uh, in that cv my mcat marks also were mentioned so once i get the call once i got the call from this institution then my interview was lined up my process began with ntp data okay so i received an email with all the credentials of login id and everything of the day and the hour of how when i'm gonna be starting the process so first was aptitude round and after getting cleared with aptitude round i received another mail which was technical round and hr round with ntt data so one of the member of hiring a hiring committee from ntt data uh, they took my technical round and after that my hr round was lined up so in technical round normally it was all the questions related to my cv all the projects what i had done in my previous college academic years and experiences what i had gained so it was all about that so basically they were checking that what all i had mentioned in my resume uh, was it reliable and was it to the point so after that my hr interview was done where uh, to can i be uh, flexible with another language can i adapt another language which i have not trained so i was ready and i had interest in learning other languages so it didn't bother me and i went ahead with it basically the hr round and technical round it was uh, mostly for the communication of what you have the way you are explaining it and the technical knowledge what you behold before to the joining date uh, with the training all right so i started with it and i think in july uh, there was an orientation given from the entity data it was a virtual orientation given where almost 50 students were selected for the training session so uh, i think uh, after the orientation was done uh, we were getting trained by one of the training center uh, of entity data that institution so that institution from where we were getting trained it was one of the entity data center to train the freshers so yeah so we started with our training our training consists of all the languages like um, mainframe vsam jcl cobol and db2 yes yes so other than db2 the db2 was similar to me the sql language was similar to me because we had studied in the college so that was something i was known to but other languages i was not aware about it because uh, these languages are a bit old also and uh, we are not usually trained in these languages so there are certain projects which are running with these languages so we have to go through with it so it is an interest it was an interesting journey 
so in this i had undergone three months of journey of training with my other fellow uh, mates of the trainees what we had so we were 50 members in that period of time and we had uh, before starting to the training we we signed an intent offer letter uh, we had an offer letter agreement to start uh, before starting with ntd data so in that we filled the cics form and all the other details to get on boarded with ntd all right so uh, in this 3 months of uh, training journey uh, i had to give quiz i had there were assessments given to me which we had to clear and uh, after that uh, also uh, there was uh, projects there were three mini projects given to us we had to do it with the three mini projects we were given a sprint project which we were divided into teams uh, between our trainees and we had to do those mini projects as a team based all right so overall all the basics were covered in the uh, in our training about these languages and we were dealing it with how much we could we were dealing it with and when we went to do the projects and all we got hands on with the language and uh, that was something good so after that there then came a final assessment round so to during this 3 months of training there was in and go entity data uh, hiring committee used to come the hr used to come we used to have a conversation with them and uh, all the doubts or whatever we had during that time it was getting cleared so this is how my process went in the training uh, training time all right so after that after 3 months i guess the training was supposed to be 2 months but it prolonged for one more month so it became overall of 3 months and in the end of 3 months we had a final assessment in that assessment the criteria was we had to score 75 above 75% all right so all those uh, quiz what we had done before that and all the assessments what we had done before that everything will be counted but after 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 that the final assessment what we will be giving to them that has to be have to score above 75% so uh, we went we, we went to through it and our projects and our sprint project everything was analyzed we had viva and after get clear clearing everything when we came to the final assessment after giving the final assessment we had to wait for a week or so for the results to be announced and uh, like in the batch of 50 30 first 35 students made it in so first 35 members were selected as a, like we have successfully completed that training so that's the first half all right so let's get ahead with the second half what happens after training is completed all right after training is completed here what happens is you start with your uh, soft skill sessions like soft skill sessions are nothing but uh, the entity hiring committee or in, uh, entity uh, for talent acquisition team what we have so we will be getting trained there will be uh, trainers coming to trainers like email etiquette presentation etiquette communication and team team building leadership qualities so several such like for two weeks our soft skill sessions ran after the two weeks our soft skill session ran we had almost like three to four weeks of uh, training under sncd5 okay so in that training it was basically to improve our grammar our way of speaking our fluency uh, basically our accent and uh, uh, going into a form where english gets comfortable to us to be we be able to speak to your client because it's a mnc company and we have to be dealing like global clients and uh, so all together sncd5 was made sure that our speaking skills have been improved right so this happened so three months of training and after that this went on for like two two months and uh, so it was almost like five months and after that uh, we sat on the bench like uh, now what is this so first half was training what i explained for three months after that this process went on for like two months like soft skill sessions and uh, snd5 this was almost like one and a half month after that was done we were good to go but the thing is now uh, the language is what we have learned based on that there has to be an opening in an any project all right so uh, if at all any project needs a resource like uh, needs a person the one who we have been trained for the language he needs that so they interview you that is the next half all right so 
first half you get trained second half uh, you will be uh, like all your soft skill sessions and the by what i told that will be completed and the third half is you will be interviewed for the project all right so i think after completing my sntify i had to wait like for 15 days and i got a call from the hr of ntt data that uh, i'll be giving my interview with one of the project members like the team my future team lead or uh, my, my future team manager if at all i get selected in that project and an hr will be interviewing me based on my technical knowledge and based on my communication knowledge and what i am going to be bringing on the table for the project i'll be hired all right so then i got uh, i think uh, uh, then my interview was signed up uh, and around in december or something uh, I, my interview was lined up with the project in charges so i went through it uh, basically they asked me the questions on the languages what i had learned and how my training had gone through and uh, my communication was tested in a manner and my technical knowledge also was tested once uh, my interview was done next day i got a call from hr that i was qualified and i am selected to work with that project and i'll be working with them so then i had to undergo with hr and then i went with the hiring committee and i signed with my offer letter and i joined the project and after that i'm working with the client i'm working with the project and uh, i started uh, uh, working for them on that project which i was hired and using my mainframe or whatever knowledge what i was trained i started with them all right and uh, so this was my entire experience of going through it uh, one more thing i would like to mention over here during my uh, training period 3 months and after the 2 months of soft skills and sntify and while i was on the bench i was not getting paid okay there was no stipend or i was not, uh, there was no any pay so uh, you don't get paid until and unless you are been uh, what you say hired with the project and you have started working till then you don't get paid all right so i started getting paid after i joined the project and i started to work with the company uh, clients and everything so from that period i started to have my salary what the package was uh, discussed with me and what was assigned what was told to me according to that with my offer letter i started to get my pay so this was it so yes this is how my journey is i hope i cleared a lot of questions and if at all still any questions are remaining i would be really glad to make a part 2 of this uh, series and i will clear there also there was a one consistent question that how did i receive the welcome kit so i didn't do anything here to get that welcome kit once i got inside the company and i got my portal id and everything on my outlook uh, there was a mail sent to me to like welcome to ntt i am uh, welcome to ntt data there was a mail sent uh, to my email address and in that mail address there was a link given for this welcome kit and i just followed it and i filled my details my address my contact details and i think after in within eight working days i uh, it was a home delivery de- done to my uh, house and i received the welcome kit so that's how i received my welcome kit so yeah that's for that and uh, yeah and if at all you are fresh and you are joining in this data and you are there uh, still waiting for your hiring or you are waiting for your call interview so i would say that it's worth the wait uh, you will as a fresher it's a very nice company to start working and uh, you will have a quite an experience over here and i should uh, just uh, as an advice and as a suggestion to all you out there who is waiting i would like to say this is that for all your training has been completed and uh, your soft skill and sntify and everything has been done and you're waiting on the bench to get hired within a project i would really recommend you people that you keep a touch with the languages what you have learned in your training all right because what happens is when you don't have access to practice the languages and uh, in my case we i didn't have a uh, like my batch doesn't has a uh, medium to practice those languages like you know so we tend to practically forget how it has been done or executed as in coding 
who all are there who are working in IT they understand that we have to be in touch with the languages what we are learning so if you want your project or interview or the interview which has been done to go smoothly i really suggest you that you keep yourself in touch in a day just browse your notes or whatever you have so that you you are aware of what the language is being used what were the keywords and you you will be ready for the interview because it is one on one interview and you have to it's all depends on how you communicate and how you explain them your technicality uh, technicality information what you consist so for that it is better that uh, you be in touch of those languages so it will be easy for you to crack that interview and get hired in your first go of call all right uh, so yes that's all for that and uh, uh, it was nice uh, making this video it was my first informative video any any questions are still remaining do comment down below and if at all this video was any help please do tell that also share me how was it and uh, i would like to take the suggestions in and uh, if and if you want to check me any further uh, content you can go and follow me on instagram and pin interest and snapchat the details have been given down below and um, i'll see you on my next video i'll be, i'll try to bring that video as soon as it possible do like this video if you liked it and uh, comment down below of how you felt it was and was it helpful share it to the maximum people so a hashmi life can be a big family and uh, also do not forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any video which i'll be uploading all right uh, take care fiamanella